Yeah, the first matchup is going to be 1v1 own versus Team Landslide. So the last minute replacement is getting put into the fire right off the bat. Is a match underway here? Yes, they've already started the match. Wow, okay. Landslide's team and 1v1 owned is underway. Wow, that one started without me even knowing it was about to happen. Alright, let's see what we got going here. Mr. Studley is getting a lot of pressure from Antisti and ganked. So, has anybody went down? They're right underneath me. It's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on here. And Norxy doing some excellent healing. I see pretty much no one is very low in health. Even though the awesome DPS of 1v1 owned as we've seen in the last tournament was insane. So for them not to have anybody near death right now is saying something about the healing on, on the opposite team, Team Landslide. Slow shots once again run the physician build and he's absolutely doing a great job of staying away from the pressure and making sure that he's not getting targeted. Revert half health almost getting really low there but the heels man the heels just make him go right back up and wow well, this 5v5 is definitely showing a strength in healing right now. The burst isn't as potent as the other matchups, so it's obvious that the it's going to be an attrition battle where a lot of doms will be dominating this, and uh, energy mana sapping, all that good stuff will be very important. And down goes. I didn't see who went down right then. Gang taking a little bit of pressure, but the DPS is going on really strong onto Mr. Studley there. He's trying to kite around, but yeah, he's doing a great job of it. And Tisty taking some damage, but the heals are still hitting him pretty good. Gank getting healed up by a Norxy there. Gang's still trying to put on pressure on Mr. Studley, but he's getting a lot of damage in return now. All the pressure seems to be put on Mr. Studley. I don't see him staying up much longer. Antisti and Ganked is just not letting up on him one bit, and they use a lot of the mana draining from the rogue souls, so yeah. His man is probably about to be out and death is coming up. About, oh, went down to about 10% life there, but happened to get picked right back up by the cross healing. Revert, getting a lot of pressure onto him, but he seems to be alright at the moment. Mr. Studley still getting all the pressure put onto him by a... Na and Nisty and uh, ganked. It's basically a show of seeing if Mr. Studley can stay alive during all of this. Panic doing a good job of going in there and applying some pressure as well. Wow, it's really hard to see what's going on whenever they're running right below me the entire time. Mr. Studley still being pressured and is he going down? Oh, he's barely staying alive and he goes down there. So there goes a major healing from uh, Landslide's team down now. 1v1 owned is definitely showing a lot of DPS and putting the pressure on the healers. And Norxy getting a lot of pressure on himself now.
Mr. Studley was combat rezzed and still getting the pressure being put on him by the same two people. Chat wants me to zoom out. You guys don't want the first person view? Here, I'll, re I'll remove myself from the overlay. How about this? Does that help, guys? Violin at about 40% life, but ha managed to go back up to around the 60% area. But he is staying low right now as they redirect all of their hills. Trying to pay attention to what you guys are saying over there as well, so I'm not commentating as hard into the match whenever I'm trying to see the feedback so I know exactly how to adjust my screen and everything. Panic getting some pressure on him. And once again, they're right below me. It's really hard to see what's going on once they're right below me there. Panic getting a lot of damage being put on him, but his team is already really crippled by using up all their combat reses. And slow shots doing a good job of just staying over to the side and keeping the heels flowing. Violin's going down just in short order now. It's it's a wipe up crew right now. Very good job by one v one own there, and the first match is under uh, is over, and this is the best three out of five. So they have several chances of coming back. And the match is about to be underway here. They have been given the okay. So 1v1 owned is entering the match. And Landslide's team is in now too. I wonder if the pressure is going to stay on the Mr. Studley. That seemed to be the key in the last match. So yeah, look at the damage being put on the Mr. Studley right now. The amount of DPS coming from 1v1 ganked is just insane. And it was in the last tournament. It's going to continue to be in this one. That's obvious. Mr. Studley still sitting at half life and fighting to keep alive right now. And down he goes. Wow. That is an absolute crazy amount of burst right then. I don't even know what to say to that one. He just went down so fast right there. Revert taking a lot of damage, but he seems to be kept up pretty good. Landslide nearly going down. He went ahead and went into split personality, running the Dom spec there. Man, they are not letting up on Landslide right now. Look at, look at all the squirrels chasing him right now. That squirrel action. Is that kind of ironic that the Dom is getting attacked by squirrels right now? Landside still getting all the pressure being put on him by ganked and anticity. Yeah, the landslide is definitely the number one target here. They're trying to control the Dom. Uh, and Tisty off to the side. He must have been stunned right there. And Orxy is squirreled. Landslide is doing a pretty good job of keeping the squirreling going up. Revert was squirreled right there as well. need to be able to pronounce these people's names better it's kinda hard for me to commentate whenever the person's name is a little bit difficult to say landslide still getting a lot of pressure onto him it's obvious they're gonna be utilizing the mana drain and all of that and trying to keep all the pressure onto him until he doesn't have any mana at all but that's kind of a dom game there he can turn around and drain their energy in exchange Dernwin, or Dernwin, I guess is what you would say his name is. He's being controlled as well right now. Yeah, Dernwin, that's how, that's how you pronounce it. 
A lot of ranged fighting going on here. Ganked in, uh, in Anticity is keeping the melee DPS up, but a lot of it is being played from a ranged point of view right now. The story of this later half of this match is basically, is Landslide going to survive? Because all the pressure is being put on him, the other team doesn't seem to be feeling any kind of real pressure right now. And this is pretty hard for Team Landslide. I mean, they were a last minute replacement and everything that they're doing was not planned at all. Their game plan was not solidified before the match. It's basically them making it up as they go. And if they do well during this tournament, it'll say something about them being able to come up with a strategy last minute. Slow shots off to the side, healing all he wants. And that's pretty much the story that's always been with Lan, uh, with uh, slow shots. He's stayed off to the side in every match we've seen him in. And basically really stayed by the pillar most of the time to where he didn't have to worry about much damage and can line of sight. Yeah, I'm sure the energy is drained from ganked and anticity right now. And they're still trying to put on a pressure. But it's kind of hard to do it with no energy. And once again, Landslide is running for his life, getting stunned and getting a lot of rogue DPS being put onto him. And Orxy doing a good job of staying off to the side and healing as well as slow shots are basically side by side out there, healing all they want. Panic receiving a good amount of damage now. Mage Cage on the violin there. And Orxy is just not, not having to worry about anything back there. He's healing away and not worrying about anything basically. And if you guys were curious about the classes being run with this matchup here, I'll go ahead and read them off since we're kind of at a little bit of a standstill here with the match. Uh, we got Team Landslide, which is Landslide a Mage, obviously, Panic a Rogue, Mr. Studley a Cleric, Violin a Rogue, and Dern Dernwin, which is a Mage. And the opposite team, 1v1 owned, is an Orxy, which is a Cleric, Ganked, a Rogue, Slow Shots, a Rogue, Revert, Mage, and Intisti Warrior. So he's obviously running, pro well, probably running the Paragon build that's so good with the single target DPS and PvP right now. It seems to be a little bit of the flavor of the month right now because Warriors are really... Focusing on that single target DPS, Warlord is not getting used as much as it used to, and in this tournament and past tournaments, Paragon has reigned supreme. Revert, going into split personality there. The Dom action is pretty heavy on both sides, and as you can see, it's a little bit of a standstill. And this is the two minute warning has already been called so as you can tell the adjustments have been made so that the matches do not last as long as they did in the last tournament. We're trying to make improvements all the time guys. And the squirrels have been brought out once again by Landslide and he's focusing on the revert. Uh oh we're going to see Dom versus Dom combat off to the side. Gank charging in at Dernwin right now. They have swapped targets and Dernwin is getting all the pressure done by Ganked and Antisti right now. Panic is trying to help out his, his teammate there, but I don't know how easy it will be to peel off those guys. 
And Revert has been squirreled, Landslide obviously trying to control the other Dom. And there you go, Dernwing getting mana drained right there, right before our eyes. The, the mana wrench was real right then. Yeah, both sides seem to be drained really well right now, and it doesn't seem like it's going to go much further in this, in this at this pace, so to say. Mr. Studley is out of the match, but still, it seems like the Doms are the story of this match. Landslide going down to 50% health. The burst is being switched to him, but is it going to be enough? And that is time, guys. I do believe the match is going to be called, and yes, 1v1 ganked has won the second match because now we're going by kills. If it does not end with one team, dominating the other and wiping them out the match will be called for the team that had the most kills so all right and the fireworks there means that the next round is ready to go here both teams are about to enter the match oh boy and the charge right off the bat goes right into it and Tisty showing a lot of DPS from the Warrior spec there. It's and Norxy getting a lot of pressure this time. Oh, the strategy has changed. And Norxy is no longer being able to just stand off to the side and heal at will. What's this? Panic getting a lot of pressure as well here. And Tisty and Gank putting the pressure on him. And Revert getting low in health. Wow, the strategy is definitely different. Slow Shot's getting low in health there. This match is definitely different than the first two. The strategy has been changed up. I think they know what the other team is going to do now, and they're adjusting for it. Dernwing going into the Harbinger uh, DPS pop there and doing some good DPS. Revert trying to kite around. He's obviously getting a lot of damage, but slow shots also taking the damage. They're switching up targets really good. I imagine the CCs are going on really hard out there and they're hard swapping targets. And wow, look at Mr. Studley. He went down to almost 50% life there. And Orxy now getting the cast off to the sides with slow shots. Mage Cage being used on the violin to keep CC going on him. And Orxy going down to Half-Life. This is definitely a different match from the first two. And as you can see, Revert has obviously changed up spec going with the Pyro build now. The Fireballs are flying. And I imagine the burst DPS is going to be pretty crazy on the Mr. Studley now, which is the target. And Orxy getting a lot of damage done to him right now. They're putting a lot of pressure on the healers of 1v1 own now, which wasn't the case in the first two matches. Mr. Studley now getting a lot of pressure being put on him. And he's... Is he... Wow! What... He went from 100% life, he healed himself up to 100% life, and bam, went down almost instantly. And Dernwin going back into the Harbinger proc there, or uh, ability, should I say, to increase his DPS by a lot. Revert is the target for him. Trying to control that uh, pyro burst there. Landslide going down to about 50% health and kind of juggling. Oh, he almost went down. He went to about 15 to 20% life and managed to get right back up. But Landslide trying to kite, but he's got a Paragon Warrior and a DPS melee rogue on him. 
I'm kind of curious, is Gank running a Nightblade spec? Uh, I imagine it's probably a Nightblade assassin mixture. Applying the bleeds and making sure that the burst is still good from the Nightblade, which is insane burst. But pair that along with the Pyro Mage shooting like Revert is, and yeah, those three types of DPS hitting one target is just going to be insane. Slow Shot still doing great with the Physician heals off to the side. Landslide getting charged by the Rogue and the Warrior once again. Violin running the physician spec it looks like so he's doing a lot of the heals on landslides team now Revert getting quite a bit of pressure, but he seems to be healing up just fine Landslide is once again the target. It's kind of interesting seeing the Seeing him run with all the squirrels behind him. It's definitely a nice flare for the match here. Violin CC'd off to the side, some blinding powder or something going off onto him. And Orixie casually healing off to the side. Wow, Landslide goes down. You've seen the Pyro Burst hitting him right then and the, the amount of DPS just unloaded onto him was pretty crazy to say the least. Panic trying to line aside as the Antisti and Ganked is focusing on him and he goes down as well. Well, it looks like the 1v1 crew is probably going to clean up this match here and that will be the third win for them if they can pull it off here. And down he goes. Dernwin being the only one left alive is most likely going to have a short lifespan right now. Yep. And that's the match for 1v1 owned. The first round is over, guys.